I'm Robert Griffin III, quarterback of the Washington Redskins, and I represent Hogs Haven. Welcome back to SB Nation. I'm here with Robert Griffin III, new quarterback, Washington Redskins. How are you doing today? Pretty tired. Yeah? Yeah, pretty tired. What's wearing you out now? Um, work, a lot of signatures, uh, doing a lot of events. Uh, and having to you know, learn the playbook and, and be with my teammates. Let's start a little before the, the playbook and stuff like that. When you found out, I mean, you knew you were probably gonna be drafted by the Redskins a little bit early on in the process, but when you were actually drafted and realized you were moving to Washington, D.C., just from a life perspective, what was your reaction to moving to Washington? Uh, it's a lot of change. Um, you know, new people, new coaches, new players, uh, just a whole new environment. So uh, you have to just go with the flow, you know, not expect too much and just uh, f see where you fit in. And, you know, I think I fit in pretty well in D.C., not only with my teammates, but with the community as well. What do you know about the district? Um, I know it's a, a huge district. People call it the DMV. It's just not D.C. It's Virginia, Maryland. and. Um, yeah, I know that there's a lot of people there. <laughs> They're very excited about the Redskins, and uh, that's a good thing. What was your reaction to becoming an actual Washington Redskin? What was the thought? Of, what did you know about the Redskins before? What do you know about them going forward? Uh, well, you know, growing up in Texas, uh, I was not a Cowboys fan, but, you know, you see the Redskins, you see the Eagles and the Giants. Uh, so I know a little bit about the history, not everything. Um, but it, it felt good that, first of all, I wasn't a Cowboys fan, so there's no conflict of, of interest there. And, uh, you know, I get to go to one of the biggest cities and, um, you know, be with the president in the same city, and it's pretty cool. What is your relationship? have been with not only head coach Mike Shanahan but also offense coordinator Kyle Shanahan and how they plan on using you what, what has been the what have been the discussions there uh, it's been great discussions first of all they're, they're different styles uh, big Mike is what I like to call him he uh, he's more quiet he'll, he'll talk to you after practice right. uh, whereas Kyle's more hands-on uh, really energetic guy uh, but they plan on using me in many ways you know throwing the ball running the ball doing a couple different things but bottom line is we're looking to win have you watched what they've been able to do with quarterbacks throughout their careers? Yeah, I have. Uh, you know, Coach Mike has definitely had a lot more experience, uh, but Kyle's done a great job with, with other quarterbacks, uh, you know, Matt Schaub including. And, you know, the way they break it down, whatever that quarterback strengths are, that's what they're going to do. You have training camp a few, I guess it's only a few months down, down the line. What has been, I don't want to say weighing on your mind, but what has been your focus, maybe areas of concern? Is it is it playbook stuff? Is it the speed of the game? Is it looking ahead to a longer schedule? What has been... What do you think you have to prepare yourself most for? I think it's just the playbook. Uh, you don't get drafted and forget how to play football. So uh, when it comes to the speed of game, you'll adjust. Uh, you don't go into it saying, oh my gosh, it's so much faster. Right. You just adjust to it. So uh, it's just the playbook, learning everything so that I know where I'm going with the ball and I can be decisive. Have you communicated at all with any of your new teammates? Yeah, I've actually you know, thrown to all the receivers, met the linemen, uh, pretty much met everyone on the team. My locker's right next to London Fletcher, so nice. uh, that's pretty cool. Did have the linemen already told you that you have to take them out to dinner? They buy have them jewelry. <laughs> they have not, but okay. we'll, we'll work something out. You know, every no sack victory that we have, I might cook them beignets. Beignets? Yeah. Is that a specialty of yours? Yeah, I know how to make beignets. My what? mom and dad are both from New Orleans, so my whole family's from there. So what else do you cook? Uh, eggs, cereal, okay. peanut butter, you and jelly. You cook cereal? Yes. That's a, that's a very and, decisive uh, choice. So beignets is really my specialty. I can cook breakfast, but beignets is where it's at. All right, and now that you're a Washington Redskin, have you looked at the NFC East in terms of defenses, defenders, schemes, looked at film yet at all? I uh, have looked at you know defenders, and, and I know them pretty well just being a Texas kid and, and growing up through that whole division. But uh, the one thing I say is you have to respect your opponent but never fear them. So there's a lot of great defenders out there uh, in, our, in our division, but I'm not going to fear them. Uh, you know, I'm not going to back down to a challenge. So it'll be fun playing against them. They'll hit me, sack me maybe once or twice. Sure. Uh, and uh, we'll move on. We'll go try to beat them. Better you than me. <laughs> Better you than me. That they, I don't want any of those people touching me ever. Um, that's weird now that I hear myself say don't, that. Don't say that again. Yeah. Um, <laughs> I don't know where that was going. Um, so now that now you're you're a Redskin, you've looked at the NFC East. Are you? Do you feel prepared physically? I mean, it's obviously a game that takes a lot of toll on, on players, especially at the quarterback position. Do you do you feel prepared? Yeah, I mean, you can always be more prepared. So uh, you'll continue to you know lift the weights, do that, those types of things. Uh, but knowing your playbook can keep you healthy as well. As sure. long as you know where you're going with the ball, you can you know avoid some of those major hits. Uh, but I do feel like I'm prepared today if we had to play. Uh, but you know, over the next couple months, I'll continue to make sure I'm even more prepared. One of the more curious draft picks was Kirk Cousins. Another another quarterback, obviously. 
Um, Washington has struggled at the quarterback position, I think it's fair to say, the past few years. Have you, have you spoken with him? What's the relationship like with him? What was your reaction to seeing another quarterback being taken? Um, well, Coach actually told me he was going to take another quarterback uh, when I flew in uh, after you know day one of the draft. So they just wanted to have two quarterbacks build together, um, you know, complete that youth movement right. uh, on the team. And then uh, with Kirk, it's fine. Uh, you know, they brought me in for a reason. Uh, we all know they brought me in to be the starter, and I plan to be the starter. Uh, and they brought him in for a reason as well. So uh, he knows that. Um, and it's it's not a competition. Uh, that, that's let's just go ahead and say that. Right. Um, but we're we're cool. Uh, You've spoken. We've spoken. Yeah. We, we we work out together. We were roommates for rookie minicamp. Sure. Uh, so there's no conflict there. Have you noticed his dreamy blue eyes? <laughs> He does have dreamy blue eyes. He looks like he's cut out of a magazine. He does, right? Okay, I think you you look like you're cut out of a magazine. I look like I'm cut out of like a menu. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know what that means, but like I feel like my head could be like on the menu of like a deli. So I don't know. That'd be the best deli ever, though. Wow, I like that very much. One of my one of my theories is that you're only as comfortable as your feet. As you, as and obviously you're a sock guy. Yeah. I mean, people know this. I want you to evaluate the warmth of my feet right now. What are we talking about here? Oh. What, are we, what are we talking about here? We're talking about Go Catch Your Dream socks. It's pretty nice. Where does that come from, the Go Catch Your Dream? Uh, you know, it's something my coach told me uh, as I declared to go to the NFL. He said, right. you know, a lot of people chase their dream, their dream uh, but when you say it that way, it's like you're never going to catch it. Right. You know, you're like chasing a rabbit. You, you're never going to catch that rabbit. Right. Unless you shoot it. But, um, you know, when you go try to catch your dream, uh, it, it's alluding that you're going to catch it. It's right. not, you know, you're going to catch the ball. You're not going to chase the ball. Right. Um, so it's just a play on words, and, and I feel like it's had a, a big impact, uh, you know, on anybody that's, that's seen me wear them or heard me say it. It's weird that you have the NFL uniform policy, very strict. Do you feel like you're going to be able to express yourself on Sundays? Uh, the one thing I've never done is I, I always keep the socks off the field. Right. So I respect the game, respect my teammates, and uh, wear them off the field. On the field, uh, I wear anything whatever under else the wears. jersey. Anything like that? Nothing that even just you know about as a lucky charm or anything? Um, you know, all I wear is uh, you know this chain. Right. I wear this chain every game. Uh, but other than that, you know, I, I got the sleeve, the glove. Uh, and that's enough for me. And you have your, your celebrations after throwing, you threw a lot of long passes that ended very successfully last season. Do you have anything? I mean, you had like the fall, you had like the twirl. Yeah. Do you have anything planned? You just Does that just carry over from the Big 12? Have you thought about that? I'm, I'm going to go out on a limb here. You're going to throw a touchdown pass eventually. Oh, thank you. Yes. Thank you. So do you have anything prepared? <laughs> no, nothing prepared. Actually, all those were just spur of the moment. Okay. The fall actually started in the first game. Right. And then I just carried it through the season. So it's kind of like, you know, if I do something in the beginning of the season, I'll probably just carry that on. Uh, but one thing you'll see is, uh, you know, the point to the sky. Sure. And the salute. Those are always uh, two that I always do. Do you feel bad that you're costing Texas and TCU cornerbacks money? <laughs> do you feel like you have to send their children to college? Oh my gosh, no. You nope. Know, yeah, even though we tore those corners up, but right. uh, a couple of them are still highly rated. Uh, some of them actually made it to the NFL. Did any of them send you thank you notes for leaving? Oh, no, no, no thank really? you notes. The, the two Texas corners actually both went back, and they're supposed to be the best corners in the Big You know why they went the back? 12. You're gone. So uh, I we'll think that's see. fair to say. We'll see. His name is Robert Griffin the third new Washington Redskins quarterback. Thank you very much for your time. Thank you. These are really comfortable socks. <laughs> <laughs> My feet are really warm.